Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm going to show you a little bit about Kahoot today. I wanted to show you really what it looks like and what it is first before I show you how to create one of your own. So what you're looking at here is on the left-hand side of the screen what you would see on a teacher screen or on the Promethean board. And then on the right-hand side of your screen, you see a couple of student screens and what they would be seeing um, when you do a Kahoot. So let's start. So the question is, what does Kahoot do? Your options here are creates a multiple choice review game, creates a poll to start discussion or debate, creates a survey so teachers can find out what students know, or all of the above. Well, our answer is all of the above. And so then now what you see that it is this online quiz game, um, I'm going to show you how to create one. First thing you should know is that Kahoot has a couple of different websites. Kahoot.it is the site that students will go to access the quiz, but to create them you need to go to getkahoot.com in order to sign in to, or to sign up for your account. I already have my account, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in now. Once you've signed in, this is what you're going to see. Up at the top, you have the option to create a new Kahoot. Um, I want to talk to you quickly about public Kahoots. These are Kahoots that other teachers and other people of the public have created and tagged for search reasons. Um, so if you have something about inverse operations and you want to look at this and then possibly duplicate it and edit it, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, but I'm going to talk to you about creating one from scratch. So I'm going to go to New Kahoot. Do you want to create a quiz, a discussion, or survey? Most often we use quizzes, although the other two are very useful. And from here, you simply just start at filling in the boxes. So the title of mine is going to be research. For a description, it, asks, it wants you to do hashtags so that it has uh, search purposes, but I'm just going to give it something generic. You can add an image. The image would be for just customizing the look of your Kahoot when it's done. Who do you want it visible to? What language do you want it in? The audience is required, ours or school. You can add other things if you want to. It's not necessary. And then we say, OK, go. From here, you begin to add questions. So my first question is going to be a research database is superior to a search engine because and then we're going to go ahead and put in answers. Okay, so as you can see, I've typed in all my answers. Um, you can use media here. So if you want to add an image for perhaps a math test where you, or excuse me, a math quiz where you need to see a graph or perhaps you uh, want a video of people speaking another language to be part of the question, you can add that here. Once you've typed in your answers, you do need to tell it which is the correct answer. You can have multiple correct answers. So if you want to have all four of them be correct, you can do that. Um, and it will just show you who's answering in what way. You go ahead and hit next, and then you can simply add another question. I'm going to go ahead and add a few more questions to my quiz, and then I'll show you the next steps. All right, so I've gone ahead and added uh, a few more questions, so now I have five questions here. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And from here, it's going to go ahead and give you options. You can share it. That would be to send it to another teacher, perhaps. You can preview it. You can edit it. But we are going to probably want to play it. So once you come here, you're going to decide the mode. Um, you can do player versus player, where everybody's answering on their own, or there is a shared device thing. So we're going to go with our classic. Let me go ahead and move this over. So again, this is the teacher screen. When it comes up, it goes ahead and has a pin here. So, two, three, one, four, five, six. On a student screen, they just simply add the pin in. And they will also be asked to give a nickname to themselves. So that you can have them do their first names. You can have them do whatever they want. Um, 
however you want to have it. And you'll see your players show up here. Um, you can kick one out if you've decided that they don't, uh, they're not using a name that's appropriate. You can go ahead and kick them out. Um, but if not, they choose their own. And again, you're going to go ahead and start. And here go your questions. And again, counts down. It has your possible answers. You can see the student screens and their scores. You can choose the correct or wrong answers, whichever works best. Um, let me show you what a, a wrong answer looks like. Again, it won't show you the end of the question until it's done. And again, it keeps score. So let me fast forward towards the end of the quiz. And here we go. This is the end of our quiz, and you can see the scores here. So again, this is great for a review game. There are other options on how to do this. So you can see who answered what question. Excuse me. You can see how many people answered which way uh, to go ahead and start discussion to create some sort of survey. But this is a great tool to use within your classroom with the devices that we do have there for you. So I hope this helps you at all. If you have any questions about how to use it or how to create one, let me know. And this is your Tech Tuesday.